Hello guys and welcome back to Club One Part 12 of our Let's Play series. We're attempting to go from non-league football to winning the Champions League and we've got two matches for you today starting with our first match in the National League against Dartford. This is the team we are going to be using for that one. It is Barrett in goal, a back four of McHaty, Brownsword, Buddle and Sharif. We've got Brookwell, Young and Reed in midfield. Bratton and Richie Holzler out on the wings and Brown Sterling up front. If you are new to the series, go and have a look at the last episode. We made some transfers as we're new to this league and hopefully we can go and get a good result here today. At least that's the plan, but we're really, really not sure exactly how we're going to do. And apparently everyone is knackered before we even start the match, which is less than ideal. We would like to have come through pre-season with some good fitness but apparently that hasn't quite worked out the way we want it to and Dartford we did see at the end of yesterday's episode are newly promoted themselves so maybe this isn't going to be the best indication of how we're going to do in this league we're going to have to wait and see if you do enjoy today's episode and you are excited and want to support the channel please do drop a big thumbs up down on the video below it's always very very much appreciated I think this is very much going to be a case of can we put a marker down for this campaign i'm just going to drop the speed down a little bit because i'm just remembering the last time we were on youtube of course was our playoff final where we had oh no it would have been the cup where we had penalties at the end of it and they're boring so we fast forward it richie holzer here through on goal richie holzer has scored on his debut less than 10 minutes into his first match for blythe spartans that's a good good start to our life in the National League. And it's a good start to Richie Holzer's career as well. I think that is probably the best start we could have asked for. He's pretty much done exactly what Connor Thompson was doing last season, which is cut in from that right-hand side off of the wing and just narrow up the angle, making it a bit difficult for the goalkeeper to know what to do and scored that beautifully. That is a absolutely bloody awful throw in though i mean i don't think i've actually seen a worse throw in from our team and if we could avoid doing that in the future that would be lovely because um i think we're already going to find it hard enough in this league this season without giving away stupid little errors like that especially when we are ahead really nice to see as well that assist for the richie holzer goal came from Gratton out on the left so two of our new signings connecting for our first goal in the National League. And I'm hopeful that those signings are going to be enough to kind of see us through this season. Obviously, the transfer window doesn't close in the National League and we have still got a bit of wage budget and a little bit of transfer budget available if it does all go wrong. And we have just conceded against Dartford here. I mean, they are newly promoted, but I have no idea what sort of signings they made. So they might be very much like us where it's a fairly new look side. I mean, our side potentially isn't quite as new look as i would have liked it to be i would have liked to have strengthened some of our positions a little more but if you did watch yesterday's episode you'd have seen as well that we were finding it horrible to make signings it was just so difficult i mean mchaty who's out on the left playing today came in um the, i mean yesterday he came in yesterday to the club in in-game time and before that, we only had one left back. Brown Sterling getting his first goal of the season here, I think. No, it's been disallowed. Less than ideal. I thought Brown Sterling managed to add to his account with Blythe Spartans. It's a pretty big count already. I was hoping we were going to get his first goal in the National League, but not to be. But we're looking pretty equal with Dartford at the moment. Again, I don't think that's the best indication, given they've just got promoted alongside us. But we'll take the points where we can. We've kind of got to work on the ratio that if we can average a point a game, we won't be getting relegated. And that's kind of the aim for this season. Obviously, last season, the aim was sort of don't get relegated. And we went up in second place and won the play playoffs. But this season, with the step up in quality of teams we're going to be facing, I do think avoid relegation is the aim. Promotion and playoffs, definitely not this season. I mean... It'll be fantastic if we can get there. I just don't really see it happening. Barrett there out to Sharif. Obviously, Barrett completely understanding my uh, my instructions to distribute short, which we love to see in a goalkeeper. We do not like long distribution from our goalkeepers. It never works. Brown sword here with a big ball forward to Brown Sterling, who's dropped it to Gratton into Richie Holzer. Richie Holzer for his second goal on his debut. 
Oh, he looks like he's going to be a decent signing if this is any indication. Two goals for him on his first game and in the first half. I mean, the match isn't even over yet. Brown Sterling there just tapping that one back to Grattan. Grattan again to Richley Holzer. So that's twice the two of those ones have linked up play to get a goal. And you can't really ask a lot more from your new signings when you're trying to embed them than that, to be honest. I feel like Richley Holzer there is getting a good couple of goals but equally having Grattan as an inside forward so he's cutting in and narrowing that up a little bit seems to be working quite well so far I wasn't overly sure on that but I couldn't find a winger that I really wanted to bring in and he was definitely the next best thing both because we could play him as an inside forward and equally offers us a little bit of depth in the striker role if we do need him Sharif here back to Reed. Can we get across into the box? We can't, but Brookwell from the outside of the area. Ambitious effort there, but it did almost come off. So, you know, I guess, you know, if you don't buy a ticket or however the phrase goes, as it stands, we are in the playoff position. So if we could just end the league now, that, that would be all right. I'd be fine with that. I know we are playing Hartypool in the next match as well. And it is very, very close considering it's the first week of the season. And I think we've got two games within four or five days of each other, which I'm very aware in non-league football, that is kind of the thing. Obviously, there's 24 teams in this league, so you are going to have to be playing your games pretty thick and fast. I have noticed we're up on the 70th minute here, so potentially we do need to have a look at making some substitutions because we know we had some pretty tired legs before we even started this match. Let's bring Beaumont on to make his debut. We'll take off Buddle because he's on a yellow card. And then I feel like Seb Quirk can come on for Sharif as well. We're going to have to pay him some appearance money given he's on a non-contract. But it'd be nice to have a quick look at him and see how he does on that right-hand side as well. Unfortunately, Brown Sterling did have that goal disallowed though. It would be nice for him to open his account. Brown Sterling here, talk of the devil, into Grattan. Grattan has scored on his debut as well. That's two assists and a goal for him, putting us 3-1 up against Dartford. I'm a genius. What can I say? I've made some fantastic signings, as it turns out. It doesn't matter about all the players who didn't want to join us and went to other clubs because we've got these guys. I mean, obviously, this front three is going to be dangerous as all heck. Look at all of this. Brown Sterling offering that assist to Grattan. Grattan offering two to Richie Holzer and Richie Holzer scoring two goals. Clearly, I'm an absolute genius. It does put us 3-1 up. That's less genius-like, though. That defence there was um, questionable, and it does mean they've pulled one back with about probably 10 minutes to go with injury time. And it's just off a throw-in. Kind of, it's not even a good throw-in. It's just kind of a run-in-the-mill throw-in, and it's been played over the top of our defence. For some reason, we've got three players all here just grouped together, having a nice chat, I assume cup of tea and a biscuit who knows i don't feel like they needed to be all that close together at that sort of uh in that sort of area off of throwing i'm all for defending the throwing but equally you could space yourself out a little bit maybe mark some players it's another ball in for Grattan from brown sterling no that one's been pulled all the way back to mchaty o'donnell now over to reed we're just keeping hold of the ball we've got four minutes of injury time left we could either score here Oh, we almost did score. Brown Sterling hitting the post. It has been cleared. Apparently, he was offside anyway, so it wouldn't have counted. So maybe that saves his blushes a bit. 24 shots for us in this match, though. That is fantastic. And it is a 3-2 win on our first day in the National League. I'm very, very happy with that. We've got to get those points on the board when we can take them. And I feel like that was a very winnable game. And we've gone and won it very, very well. Lewis McNeil. <laughs> Lewis McNeil has gone on loan and he's injured for 10 to 11 months. I mean, so much for going and getting some playing time at Boston United. I guess that isn't going to happen. Richie Holzer makes an immediate impact. I think we can agree with that. That's about as immediate as you can get it. And he wasn't even the person with the best debut. That would go down to Jacob Gratton with his one goal, two assists and an 8.9 rating. Now we've uh, got our relation of winning our first game out of the way. Let's go see if we uh, do any good against Hartlepool. And this is going to be our lineup for that match against Hartlepool. We've got Barrett in goal, Liddle, Brownsaw, Buddle, and Quirk as our back four. Young Sharif and O'Donnell in midfield, Grattan, Richie Holzer, and Brown Sterling remaining as our front three. A lot of those changes are just due down to fitness issues. Obviously, we saw going into the last match, some of our players weren't fit, some of our players still aren't fit. 
and that last match kind of killed them off and they're not really got the energy to play this match but hopefully this team can go and carry out their duties competently and get a win maybe i mean it is newly relegated against newly promoted in the second game of the season so it is quite an interesting one it was being touted by the media as the most important match this weekend as well it's the one that four people to go and watch if they are interested in this league Buddle has got himself a yellow card again. That's two matches and two yellow cards, mate. Calm down a little bit. I could do without you getting either suspended or sent off. That wouldn't be great, if I'm honest. We haven't had any highlights here so far. He says as a highlight happens, Young swinging that one into the box for Brown Sterling to try and head home. Hasn't quite managed it. It's just wide of the left post. But again, we do seem to be doing fairly well. And I'd be interested to see how we do do in the league this season. Because obviously... We so overachieved by so much last season that I don't really know if we'll do the same this season. Again, obviously, I haven't checked the season preview, but I'd imagine we're pretty low in it. The board just want us to attempt to avoid relegation, which is kind of FM language for we'd like you to attempt relegation. But if you do get relegation, then you're probably not getting fired. We're just you know prefer it try not to get relegated a eh, lad is pretty much the summary of that bit of club vision not really a lot happening in that match just the one highlight for us which was that free kick and um nothing really coming from Hartlepool at the moment and nothing really coming from us i'd say we're the better side in it i'd also say richie holzler looks absolutely shattered and we're only on the 51st minute ball in for brown sterling off of that free kick from little though is it standing it's not standing for God's sake. And that's the second one he's had disallowed this season already. And it's only game two. And that's a very, very tight offside. He did well to get over to the left and beat the goalkeeper there. We're not going to see the end of that highlight apparently. Because FM's going to cut it off. We're going to have to keep a very close eye on both Gratton out on the left side. And Richie holds that out on the right. Because they are both fatiguing pretty quickly here. Quirk out on that right hand side can he get across into the box our new signing nobody can cut it back to richie holes and we're just holding it outside of the area just probing for an opening we have found one into gratton he has managed to get his head to it and it is going to be a corner for us on that right hand side young to take he's not got past the first defender so not the best corner in the world we are going to get a throw in off of that one though hopefully we can go and attack that one I guess we didn't do that because we're not getting a highlight so I assume it was an absolutely awful throw in hard to pull instantly regain possession we probably even though it's fairly early on in this match need to think about some substitutions here Jack Young's looking pretty tired we're going to bring on Cunningham for him Richie Holes is looking tired and not playing fantastically as a result so we're going to bring on Connor Thompson one of our better players from last season on that right hand side and again we're massively ahead in this match 11 shots to Hartlepool's four at the moment I don't think we've seen a highlight for Hartlepool yet attacking our goal which is paramount to me asking for a late goal to arrive now I've said that that is pretty much me cursing the side really isn't it I'm very surprised that I thought this would be the harder match and I guess it is because we aren't winning but equally it's not quite as hard as I thought it would be I don't really have anyone to bring in for Grattan actually I could bring Brown Sterling down there we'll bring on Maguire up front and we'll leave Brown Sterling as an inside forward and that manages us to get Grattan out on that onto the subs bench and refresh our team just a little bit for the last sort of 10-15 minutes we've got maybe we can go and grab a late goal here that said, if it stays as it is, I wouldn't be too mad at four points from our first two matches in the National League, to be honest. And it does look like, unless we get a very late highlight, it is going to remain nil-nil in this match. It has remained nil-nil. I think, I think that's a successful result. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, but I kind of take that as a positive result. I mean, four points from two games. We've got a bunch of teams down here that haven't even got a point on the board yet. So we're already doing... A little bit better than maybe we should be doing um we've got a few players here i was trying to sign another left back at one point uh, we had this guy who hadn't actually managed to um to sign with watford like it looked like he was but he is signing for crystal palace because crystal palace have a much better team than us again crystal palace in the championship i believe so completely makes sense for a player to go over to the championship rather than come down to the national league 
we're just looking ahead now we will obviously try and play through some matches there's some interesting ones in there Torquay are pretty local to me Aldershot we did play in the cup last season all of these are pretty interesting to be fair just in the sense of are we any good or not and I guess we only find that out by continuing to play games and see if we continue to win and draw them or if we suddenly have a big collapse when we start facing some of the uh, better teams within the National League if you have enjoyed today's episode though please do drop a like down below it does really help out the channel and it will be very very much appreciated we will be back for another episode but if you can't wait until then why not have a look at this video next